Thousands of Palestinians attended a funeral procession on Friday after at least 18 people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on the occupied West Bank's Tulkam. It hit the Nur Shams refugee camp, one of the most densely populated in the West Bank, destroying a ground floor coffee shop entirely. The Israeli military said the head of Hamas's network in Tulkam had been killed as a result. Palestinian emergency services said a family of five were among the deceased killed in an apartment in the same building. Local residents said another commander from the Iranian-backed Islamic Jihad was also killed, but there was no immediate confirmation from either side. Residents said the strike took place after a rally in the middle of the camp by armed fighters based there. When the rally ended, some went to the coffee shop, which was also hit. It was unclear how many of those killed were militants and how many were civilians. Tulkam is a volatile city in the northern West Bank that has seen repeated clashes between the Israeli army and Palestinian fighters. With the first anniversary of Hamas's October 7 attack on Israel approaching, the strike underlined how widely the war has spread. As well as reducing Gaza to rubble, Israeli troops are now engaged in southern Lebanon. Parts of the West Bank have, in recent weeks, come to resemble a full-blown war zone too. More than 700 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank in the past year. Many were armed fighters, but many also unarmed youths or civilian passers-by. Dozens of Israeli soldiers and civilians have also been killed in the West Bank and Israel by Palestinians.